Hey guys, it's Katie from Mitza Creek Farm and we just got some seeds in the mail and I'm so excited about them. I wanted to show them to you. Okay, so this is the Baker Creek order. I don't think I ordered many pumpkins from there just knowing that I was going to be ordering um, other vegetables later on. I just wanted to get the pumpkins ordered which are an absolute must. I wanted to make sure we got them before anything sold out. So... this up and the kakai squash those are the naked seeded excited for those the flat white boar pumpkins the winter luxury pie those are the pumpkin pie squashes the Galou de Isinus. Those were those French ones with the warts. Um, and then the Long Island cheese. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So we got those. And then the free seed is uh, dark purple basil. Very excited about that. These in my little basket with my other seeds. Please fit. They don't fit very well. I actually will put these in a Ziploc bag here pretty soon. Okay. And then this is the one from MI Gardener. Should have used a scissors on this one. There we go. Oof, I did order a lot. Okay, so the Atlanta giant Atlantic giant pumpkin. Big Max pumpkin. Jack B. Little pumpkin. The Cinderella pumpkin. Tomato, tomato, squash, zucchini actually, cherry tomato, pepper, pepper, pea, melon, watermelon, tomato, tomato. Um, got this squash. It's got a little bit of warts, but it was like a blue one. I think I added that in at the end just because. Why not? They were 99 cents. Another watermelon. Did I order two? I must have. Spaghetti squash. That was something that wasn't on my list, but I like to eat spaghetti squash, so I figure might as well um, sell it at the stand. Okay, so that's it for pumpkins, I think. Oh no, the cornucopia gourd mix. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pumpkin seeds from them. It's not gonna fit. And then I need to organize these because I just bought them because. Um, but I got a honeydew melon. Looks like I got two watermelon. I got the crimson sweet and then the sugar baby. These I could almost grow and sell at the stand, so I'll put those in there. Um, tomatoes, I got uh one two oh boy i got quite a few i got amish paste i got beef steak i got large red cherry brandywine pink and early cascade I got straight eight cucumber and the gray zucchini squash. And then my goal for this year for growing vegetables for ourselves was to grow all of our peas and beans. So I bought extra peas and bean, pea and bean seeds. 
Um, I got the Landreth bean, the Oriental yard long bean. We really liked these last year. Kentucky Wonder. And then for peas, I got the Lincoln peas. We got some pickling cucumbers, a cantaloupe, California Wonder Bell pepper. I'm gonna start my own asparagus patch. And then I got two types of romaine. Um, I am looking for a lettuce um, similar to what we have in the windowsill here, um, like the romaine that you would buy from the store. I want something that's like in a stock so that it's easy to harvest and cut. And so these both kind of looked like that. So I'm gonna try them. Um, this is Paris Island Cause Romaine and then Little Gem Butterhead. So we're gonna try these as well. So I kind of went overboard on the vegetable seeds, but my reasoning behind that was, well, there's really no reasoning behind impulse buys um, other than they're 99 cents and free shipping. So um, we should be pretty set for, or pretty close to being set for our vegetable seeds. Um, and there's some that I overbought on, but whatever. Um, and I will fill in what we need when I create that spreadsheet for our vegetables that we're growing. Um, I will fill that in and we'll probably be filling in the gaps that I have there with some Baker Creek seeds. Um, but we have a large majority of our pumpkin seeds in. I think I'm missing one or two seed companies yet. Um, but I'd have to look on my spreadsheet to just verify that. I don't quite remember, um, which is why I have a spreadsheet. We have probably three months, maybe two and a half before we start planting the tomatoes and the peppers. Um, and then it won't be until April sometime when we start doing the seeds. But I am very, very excited to have them here and I can start getting everything planned out and start getting the seed racks built and all that kind of stuff. So we are um, getting closer and we are one step ahead of the game, which is very exciting in my world because we're usually really far behind on everything. We usually don't plant until right around Memorial Day. Um, that's kind of the rule of thumb in this area. We're right on the edge of zone 3B and 3A. So I just say we're in zone three. Um, but we, last year we had frost in June, on June 13th. So we really don't want to, unless it's a really warm year and we're willing to take the risk, we don't want to plant really any earlier than Memorial Day. So we, we have lots of time um, to get all this done, but it feels nice to have a good chunk of the list here and then I can start getting all of that organized. Can't tell, I love planning ahead and having all of the stuff organized so that it is all ready to go when the time comes. Um, but that's it for today's video, guys. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time.